This video provides answer to interview question asked in the LinkedIn post November 22. First question, three beams with two cases A and B. Out of these three cases, one, two, three, which will have a bending moment diagram same for both case A and case B. So this question checks concept about determinate and indeterminate structure. Determinate structure we can find reaction using three equilibrium equations or equ summation force equals to zero summation moment equals to zero and if we have a structure which is indeterminate it requires compatibility equation and we call it indeterminate structure so when our structure is determinate the bending moment diagram will not depend on stiffness of beam. So the correct answer for this question out of three cases which will have same bending moment diagram the answer would be first the determinate structure bending moment diagram shear force diagram will not depend on its stiffness but in case of indeterminate structure which is a problem 2 and 3 beam stiffness will determine the reaction carried by the beam let's jump to second question second question was about finding forces and truss member marked a marked a and p the load was given p equals to 100 kilo newton depth of a truss is given which is l over 10 5 meter so once we know l over 10 is 5 we can calculate span 50 meter truss we can solve using joint section method and the third method we call graph graphical static but this problem asks approximate member forces calculation so truss can be converted into a equivalent beam if we know the bending moment diagram which is if total load is w span l moment is w l over 8 once we know the moment at mid span it is carried by push pull between top core and bottom core the bottom core will go under tension top core under compression so if i have to find out force in member a which i will write f a span 5 meter we know the total load i can sum total load is 9 p moment will be 9 p into l over 8 once we know the moment we can calculate force f a equals to moment divided by the lever arm which is 5 meter and we can find force approximately in the top core bottom core now the second question is to find out force in member b so we will be having reaction at this point 9p and we have p by 2 p by 10p so 5p is a reaction here so we will get same 5p 
this will be zero member force if i say the force in member b f b so for equilibrium we will be having force in this member up here it will be down so we can calculate fb if i assume this as a theta here it will be 45 degree this is 5 meter and height 5 meter so fb cos theta equals to 4.5 p so we can get fb equals to 4.5 p over cos theta which will be 0.707 so this is how we can calculate approximately forces in a truss let's jump to the question number 4 Following cylindrical girder find maximum moment in member marked A if the load P is 100 kN. So if we see this problem it is a cylindrical girder all connections are moment connection and we have to find a bending moment in a member A. So this is a center line so we can find out force in member a total load is 8p so it will get divided it's a symmetrical 4p 4p here we have two supports so this is 2p 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 so there is a method we call portal method of analysis so portal method of analysis if we have a fixed frame we consider point of control fracture as a mid height so if this was a p point of control fracture p by 2 p by 2 and if height is h this will be h by 2 so the moment will be p h over 4 we multiply force into lever arm so same method we will apply here we got force in this 2 p and we have to find out moment so if this is a small uh, yeah this was a 3 meter so half it will become 1.5 meter so the moment will be 2p into 1.5 meter so 200 into 1.5 which will give us 300 kN meter let's go for the next question here we have to draw a bending moment diagram for few problem so how to solve a bending moment diagram problems we must remember a bending moment diagram for few standard cases like a simply supported beam with point load simply supported beam with udl and fixed beams so here i will draw on a tension side bending moment diagram for simply supported beam for fixed we have negative moment we call hogging moment and sagging moment so knowledge of this four bending moment diagrams will help us to draw 
for all complex cases. So this we will keep in mind all the four cases. Let's dive into the first question. It is two span continuous with overhang. So I have a force lever arm. So tension will come at the top. Let me use another color for drawing bending moment diagram. Since it's a point force, it will be line. Now, if we take this beam, it is like a propped cantilever. Here it's continuous, so I can draw as a fix, and we got moment in this direction. So, I will get something this, and since here. At the end, simply support a bending moment diagram. Bending moment should be zero. So this is our final bending moment diagram. Let's take a second question. This one. Three span continuous with load at mid span. So since we don't have load here. This will become like this question: continuous beam with point load, so bending moment diagram, and when we have end, it will be zero. So this is the bending moment diagram for a second problem. Similarly, we can solve. Uh, let us try problem number this. Let me erase the present solution. So we must remember the four cases. Now we will solve this problem. So I can put this with this consideration, something continuous, pin, so the bending moment will be, and now at this point it's pin, zero. And uh, like few cases, we should remember, like a portal frame, fixed, And always remember, at for fix, the moment transfer or the other end is half. So now, if we have instead of fix, a pin support. Then, for this case, bending moment diagram becomes. like this so now let's jump to the next question two test samples prepared from same concrete and kept under same curing tank first cube is a cube 15 cm by 15 cm by 15 cm that is 6 inch by 6 inch by 6 inch so first one is a cube Six inch while the second is six inch by twelve inch cylinder. So 
दिस इज माई फिफ्टीन सेंटीमीटर हाइट थर्टी सेंटीमीटर बोथ आर कैप्ड अंडर यू टी एम सो वी आर अप्लाइंग अ कंप्रेसिव फोर्स फॉर टेस्टिंग विच वी कॉल यूनिवर्सल टेस्टिंग मशीन विच सैंपल विल फेल फर्स्ट अंडर कंप्रेशन टेस्ट सैंपल ए और सैंपल बी सो हियर वी हैव अ क्यूब स्ट्रेंथ सैंपल एंड सेकेंड इज सिलेंड्रिकल अंडर कंप्रेशन टेस्ट वी नो फॉर अ कंप्रेशन मेंबर डिजाइन द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज स्लेंडरनेस रेशियो स्लेंडर मेंबर्स दे फेल फर्स्ट सो सिलेंडर बींग स्लेंडर इट विल फेल फर्स्ट इन अ कंप्रेशन टेस्ट मशीन एंड कॉन्क्रीट विल फेल लेटर सो दैट्स वाई देर इज अ को रिलेशन वी कॉल इफ माई क्यूब स्ट्रेंथ इज फोर्टी मेगा पासकल द सिलेंड्रिकल स्ट्रेंथ इज एटी परसेंट एप्रोक्सीमेटली थर्टी टू मेगा पासकल सो इन अमेरिकन स्टैंडर्ड वी राइट सिलेंड्रिकल स्ट्रेंथ एज एफ सी प्राइम and euro code indian code we use cube strength and we write fck characteristic cube strength let's jump for the next question multiple choice question an increase in strain under constant or a sustained stress in concrete is called so i have a concrete cube i am keeping a sustained load compressive load on it over a time over years this member will compress so we call first elastic compression and then over a time we have more delta so this phenomena is called creep the risk of brittle fracture increases with the thickness tensile stress stress colder temperature test performed to measure the toughness of steel is cold if you remember uh, it is called charpy v notch test where we create a artificial groove and we keep on a test we provide a impact of a magnitude 27 joule or 40 joule based on the requirement and yeah so the, this is called toughness test of steel property of steel related to weldability uh, we have different mechanical properties and here it is asked which property is linked to weldability is it fatigue carbon equivalent value ductility through thickness tensile test so when we talk about weldability it comes chemical composition so the answer is cvv value 3c for concrete durability during design stage cover during construction a compaction and the third c is curing so these are the three c most important about concrete durability cover compaction and curing in concrete mix design relationship between a characteristic strength fck and standard deviation and target average compressive strength is so the concrete strength follows a bell curve we learn in statistic like most of uh, phenomena random phenomena they follow a bell curve so and a concrete characteristic strength is a one where only 5% of results fall below 
that value so this is a location of characteristic strength fck and this is a target strength average compressive strength we are targeting target so based on statistic uh, this is 5% and total bell curve is 100% half side is 50. so this is a 45% area of a bell curve so the relationship is target will be fck plus some constant time standard deviation s or sigma so we can see the target equals to characteristic plus 1.65 so this one is a correct answer next question here we have 36 piles and we are required to calculate a maximum force in pile so the piles are equally spaced 6 by 6 so this will be my neutral axis so maximum force in a extreme pile we can calculate total load divided by number of piles plus or minus the moment suppose if we have in this direction moment i call this x axis y axis mx my mx into extreme distance y extreme y max divided by summation y square all pile distances from x axis plus or minus my x for that pile divided by summation x square uh, this we call rivet theory also so putting uh, fz direction they have given force is compressive 1000 metric ton so we will be having 1000 over 36 so if we want to find out maximum compression and mx is 600 so my this corner pile it will be under maximum compression so i can for compression i will take plus 600 into i can find out the maximum distance it is 3 meter so the maximum distance will be 7.5 and then summation of all y square so we can create a excel table for pile mark and its coordinate xi yi find out xi square yi square and final summation and we can solve this problem the next question we have isolated pad footing of dimension 1.5 meter by 1 meter 1.5 1 meter we have a compressive force of 1000 kN p is given and a moment moment about y axis this is y axis we have this moment my so now it is asked to find out uh, maximum soil pressure few engineers they will jump start by just putting this equation p over a plus or minus my by section modulus z y so don't jump directly to this we can calculate first like uh, where is the load so like uh, this is a pad we have a compressive force and a moment so i can convert it into a force with eccentricity so first calculate eccentricity e equals to 
m by p 400 over 1000 4 by 10 2 by 5 0.4 meter and we remember uh, whenever we have a rectangle we call core of a section which is b by 3 b by 3 so if force is acting outside core it will generate lift off so now this dimension is 1.5 so 1.5 over 6 it will give us 15 over 60 1 by 4 0.25 our eccentricity is 0.4 meter which is more than 0.25 so in this case we will be having a tension so soil will not take any tension so the pressure diagram will be this and uh, we have to solve uh, using equilibrium equation so don't jump by using this equation whenever you have given force and moment check eccentricity are we falling inside the cone of our one third rule? If then we can utilize this. If no, then we have to use equilibrium equation to get maximum compression in soil.